Welcome friends to another Pokemon Go episode. I believe we're on episode 19 now, which is almost three weeks worth of episodes. So thank you so much for the continued support through likes, comments, tweets, everything. I really appreciate it. Yesterday's episode, we took a look at some new features coming to Pokemon Go, including new Pokemon, breeding, trading, tons of awesomeness. I'll link that in the description. But today's episode is going to be awesome. We're going to be using a calculator that can help us predict the CP of the evolutionary Pokemon we're about to evolve into to give us a good idea as to whether or not we got a good, a bad, or an average evolution because it's not always consistent. I'm going to show you guys how you can use this yourself. We're going to be using it right here today in this episode to try and see if we can get some awesome, awesome evolutions. So if you guys are excited for another episode, smash that thumbs up button. We've got little Easter here today for the beginning of the video as well. And we're going to be doing some Eevee evolutions today too. So let's jump into the Pokemon Go headquarters and get ready. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys. It is a really, really cool calculator that should help a lot of you guys out when you're evolving and trying to work out what to do next with your Pokemon. But checking in on what happened since last episode, we have just rolled over 23. I've got 10,000 XP since. Still like less than a tenth of the XP I need to get to 24. The grind is insane right now. And in terms of my best Pokemon right now, again, things aren't changing too much towards the top tier of that CP list. The only thing I've thought of at one point is using a lot of Lapras candies to make this Lapras as close to 2,000 as possible. But I think after all the ranking up, it would cost a lot of Stardust. But hey, let me know down below. Would you want me to get this Lapras as close to 2,000 as possible and maybe get it as my first 2,000 CP Pokemon. If you guys want me to do it, I would give it a go. Now we hatched a lot. It felt like a lot of eggs last episode. They all just popped off right at the beginning of the video. We've got two here that are stupidly, stupidly close to hatching. A lot of two, a lot of 5k eggs. And as I've mentioned, the 10k eggs just seem to be quite elusive at the moment. We just can't seem to find them, unfortunately. But hopefully today, if we restock on eggs, we'll find some 10k ones. Now, at the start of a lot of these episodes, I go through a lot of the Pokemon that are close to evolving I need a little bit more candies to get there and today we're gonna to be doing some of those big evolutions and even some normal evolutions and using this calculator that I told you guys about so on my phone right now I'm on a website called pokey find as you can see it's currently in beta and as soon as my Pokemon video started blowing up I was really interested in working on a website that all of you guys could use to not only find Pokemon but get useful data about Pokemon go and one of the things developed on the pokey find website is this calculator that we're gonna be using so just to be really clear of you guys because we a lot of drama recently about YouTubers only websites. I do own a part of this website, but it is not monetized at all. There's no adverts, there's nothing at the moment. Myself and another YouTuber have literally just put money into this website to make it for you guys. We've also got an app coming along as well. So it's very exciting, but I'm gonna leave this website down below in the description. Head over to it right now, works on your phone, works on your PC, and we're gonna give it a test by starting off with our first evolution. So every different Pokemon in Pokemon Go has a different multiplier. So some CPs for evolutions will change far more drastically than others. This website will take the average multiplier for each of the, all the Pokemons and tell you exactly what it's going to be. So you don't have to do any multiplications yourself. So this site can give you a prediction as to what your CP will turn into. So let me just give you an example as to how this is going to work. So we've got a Rattata here. We're going to evolve it into a Raticate. So we know the CP, we know the Pokemon. So all we're going to do is head over to the calculator. We're then going to enter the Pokemon, enter the CP level. And then if we hit that estimate button, it's going to tell us on average what the CP should come out at. So the minimums and the maximums are extreme ranges. We're going to be focusing on that average CP. So as I said to you guys, each Pokemon is a different multiplier, but that multiplier isn't consistent. Sometimes it's a little bit higher, sometimes it's a little bit lower. So if I sat down with this Rattata and a friend sat down with the exact same CP Rattata, we will come out with slightly different Raticates because that multiplication could go up or down a little bit. And this is where the calculator is really going to help us out and let us know if we've got a better or worse evolution than we should have done. So the average for this evolution will be 681. So we're going to go back into the app now. We're actually going to evolve this Rattata and we're going to find out if we've got an above or below evolution for this Rattata. So guys, here's our evolved Raticate at 697. And if we go back into the app, we can see that actually we've got a slightly above average evolution there with our CP coming out a little bit higher, which is awesome. So I'm going to do this a few more times with some bigger evolutions just to show you guys if we can get lucky or unlucky. So next up, I've got a Paris. I've got over 50 candy, so we're going to evolve this into our second Parasect. It's starting at 519, so let's enter that on the website. So, the average is going to be just over 1,000 CP, 1,007 to be exact, for this Paris evolution. So, let's give it a go, and fingers crossed, if we can get above that average, we'll get over 1,000 Parasect. 
So we actually got unlucky there. This Parasect came out at 992, which means that actually, statistically, it's gone a little bit below what the average multiplier should be for that evolution. So without this website, we never would have known that. So I've got one more evolution for you guys. Look how many Venonat candies I've got. I, I can do two and a half worth of evolution. This is a 600 CP Venonat that we caught yesterday, just as we turned 23. So the calculator is telling us that with a 600 CP, we should be coming out at around 1,100. 140. So it's time to evolve this bad boy and I would suggest to you guys that before you do any evolutions you always jump onto this calculator. It's going to give you a really good idea if you got lucky or unlucky and how that evolution has turned out. Uh, definitely tweet me if you get one that's way above average because you would have lucked out very very hard and you would have gotten an awesome evolution as a result. So here we have our awesome Venom Moth. Let's see, is it above or below? The average is 1140 and ours comes out of 1 1,119, so only a little bit below the average, still a really, really good Venomoth, but I would never have known, as I said, all of those evolutions would have been good or bad about this calculator, so check it out down below, guys. It's a great way of knowing whether or not you've got a good Pokemon that's worth evolving and how its stats are going to turn out. But I've sat in front of this PC for way too long chatting to you guys about this. What we're going to do now, we're going to head on out and find a place to evolve these two EVs, and hopefully, fingers crossed, because they're really good EVs, they turn into an above average evolution. So let's start today's adventure. Hopefully you guys have found that calculator really useful and you put it to good use yourself. And let's play some Pokemon Go. For most of these episodes, I'm actually just in my car driving around, seeing if there's anything nearby. The eggs often hatch if I'm driving slowly and eventually the kilometers build up. But I think today I'm actually going to go to a place where I can spend a lot of time on foot walking off those eggs. I don't really do that that much in the episode. So let's try and find a place where hopefully A, there's new Pokemon, B, we can hatch some eggs, and C, we can get some epic EV evolution. So guys, no sooner as we jumped in the car and grabbed some snacks, we have got some eggs hatching already. So, what is the first egg of today going to be? Please be something new. Please be something new. It's a bell spray. Actually, you know what? I can't complain about that. If we take a look at this, actually, you can see 76 candies. And I've got a new and improved bell sprout. It's like 687, I think, which I want to take all the way up to a victory bell. So I'm gonna need 125 for that. But to give it a look, yo, okay, there's another one. There's another, there's a lot of Pokemon on top of us as well. But what is gonna come from a second egg of a yo magnemite? Okay, it's all good, it's all good. Again, it's candy progression, as I always say, and that's useful. 485 is not bad either. You we've got four Pokemon around us. I swear this stop is so so good. 10 electric type Pokemon is not bad. I'm actually gonna go ahead and at least capture this metapod because believe it or not I've actually never had it's kind of embarrassing never had a butterfree because as soon as I get enough uh, candies to evolve the caterpies into metapods I, I just use the candy straight away so I've never bothered saving up the 50 needed to get a metapod to a butterfree so did that guy just run on me I actually was not looking at my screen if that guy ran on me that is disrespectful oh my gosh yeah actually I'm, I'm done I'm actually so done with that guys look who we've ran into to start off this walk a freaking electrobug we haven't had one of them since we went hunting for them what weeks and weeks ago now but i think to capture this guy i'm gonna have to sit down and throw it properly so i need to find a bench i swear i end up finding some of the nicest places to go hunting for pokemon Ugh, guys we don't need no bench we're capturing him right here right now now for me like the two cool electric and fire type pokemon from gen 1 is electrobuzz and magmar and they keep on saying i really 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 want a magmar from a 10k egg but i don't have any 10k eggs on the go at the moment actually that's a lie I could i've just got one new egg to get us up to nine look at this electric Buzz. Just got one new egg from a Pokestop to get us 9 out of 9. I haven't started incubating it, so it could be a 10k egg. But I've got a tip off potentially for tomorrow's video as to where loads of Magmars spawn. So tomorrow could be the day I finally get a Magmar. Yo, a great spin ball throw. That's got to be a capture. Come on, Electrobuzz. Don't disrespect me now. Wow. <laughs> well, that guy didn't want to get caught, did he? Nope, it's another 5k egg. <laughs> I like, I swear to God, the 10k eggs hate me. They just don't want me to get any. But guys, I've got to be honest with you, I feel bad. For the whole of the Icelandic trip, I talked about the fact that I was going to evolve a shelter into a cloister. And I was like, you know what, we'll hold out until the end. We'll get the best one. And when it came to the end of the Icelandic trip, we were so tired, we just crashed out and I completely forgot to evolve it. I was meant to do it last episode. But hey, since we're doing so many evolutions this episode and predicting the evolution CP, I think today's a perfect day to do it. So let's jump onto the 
pokey fine calculator and see what it's saying our 453 Shelda should turn into when it comes into a cloister. Well, this is kind of disappointing, but the calculator is saying that Shelda will only turn into about a 1169 cloister. But you know what? I've got 68 candies. By the time I get a bigger and bigger, bigger Shelda, like I'll have enough on to do another evolution. And I've been meaning to do this evolution for ages. So let's do it anyway and just see if we get above or below that average. All right, guys, it is finally evolution time. It's way overdue. Let's turn this shelter into a cloister and hopefully, hopefully, I want it over 1,200 really. I want it to go above that normal average CP once it evolves because I want it to be a part of my squad. I want it to be a beast. There we go. I rocked a lucky egg just before doing this evolution to make sure I got double XP. Love this Pokemon. It's so good. Not so good. If you guys ever watched the finals of Pixelmon Island where me and Lachlan made it to the finals, he beat me with this freaking cloister. So I kind of hate it. But as always, it's glitched out and the CP's covered. So 1147. Seven. Am I just getting really unlucky? I'm getting unlucky today, aren't I? The last three evolutions have all been below the average, unfortunately. But hey, a new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. Lots of XP as well. So may our adventure today continue and hopefully our evolution luck improves a little bit. So there's a huge long park bench here and someone put a lure down on the bench. It was actually a Pokestop. I was like, oh cool, I'll come sit down, come sit down. There's a group of like maybe five to ten people and half of them turn around and are like, wait a second, I recognize this guy. None of them had watched me for COD. None of them knew who I was apart from the fact I just make Pokemon go videos so so I love bumping into you guys it still blows my mind that <laughs> I haven't made videos for six years I'm only known for Pokemon Go at the moment but it's cool we've got a new egg to hatch baby what's it gonna be definitely a 10k egg because we ain't got any but what is it gonna be come on just be something new I need some good luck yeah okay it's a ponytail it's a ponytail that's not bad that's great you know how much I love a ponytail actually be good eat Four, seven. I think it tops. I think my eight, four, four is my last best ponytail. Let's compare. Yep, if you guys look at that, it's only a three CP difference, but the eight, four, seven one is slightly better. 35 candies, baby. We're getting close to that Rapidash. Can never complain about a ponytail, but honestly, I want Growlithe. I want Growlithe. I really want an Arcanine, more so than a Rapidash or even a Magma. Arcanine is the one I seriously want. So, if we get any more Growlithe in eggs, I'm going to be screaming. <laughs> so, after hatching that ponytail egg, went to Pokestop, refreshed an egg, got a two freaking K egg. I swear down 10K egg tape me at the moment, but something has happened. Something has happened in Pokemon Go that I actually can't remember the last time it happened. Look at this. Guys, it's a freaking grayed out Pokemon. That's a pincer. I have never ever seen a pincer. It's not even that rare to be fair. A lot of you guys probably have one, but for me, it's something I do not have. Now with this three step glitch, it means I can't locate it very easily, but it is the furthest Pokemon right now. At the moment, I'm literally like about to walk onto a rugby pitch. So with a three step glitch in effect, I would say that hunting this thing down is near impossible, but hey, I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see if we can get this new Pokemon. Honestly, I can't tell you how I did this, but I freaking tracked down the pincer. Now, I'm level 23 bear in mind so i was like you know what maybe it's a 600 700 hopefully an 800 it's an 80 freaking four pincer but you know what as i said it's a brand new pokemon and it's chilling right here i've literally walked into the middle of the woods to try and find it it popped up on my screen it wasn't even the closest pokemon it popped up on my screen i'm like you know what game you're so broken right now i don't even care so i'm just gonna use, i'm just gonna use a great ball i don't even care i'm just gonna use a great ball on it and see if we can get it one two three yo let's go baby i'm so glad i did not expect this adventure to actually turn into a new pokemon hunt but hey we managed to get ourselves a brand new pokemon added to the pokedex i think does that mean i didn't have double xp on oh my double xp ran out just as i caught it that's so annoying it's all good though guys oh there's a squirtle nearby yo let's hunt for this squirtle so those guys are just there, caught the Squirtle, which is literally in the position I'm standing in. And they said it's just disappeared. I think I literally missed it by 10 seconds. Basically, the way Pokemon spawn is that they spawn for a certain amount of time, and then they'll be gone from that area. So that pincer probably won't be there in like another five minutes time. So I got really lucky to run into it, but I've got an egg to hatch. I think it's probably just a 2k egg. So let's see how I can do. Please, if it's a starter Pokemon, I'll literally cry with happiness and joy to be honest with you guys. Oh my God. Freaking Weedle dude. Now the good thing is my phone's been vibrating. So, nope, nope, the squirt was gone. They were exactly right, the squirt was gone. We've got a horsey, uh, that'll have to do. <laughs> Would you look at this guys? Look who's turned up. Is none other than Electra Buzz himself. 1,278. <laughs> All right, we need to find a stable and safe position to capture this guy. In the middle of the woods, there aren't really many places like that, but I've located a log, this guy. Oh, Holy cow, this guy needs to be caught. Here I was literally about to leave this location, getting ready to evolve our Eevees, as I promise you guys. And this bad boy comes out of nowhere. I'm raspberrying him up and definitely, definitely ultra balling him as well. This would be my strongest wild capture ever. <sighs> was literally no one nearby. If they knew there's a freaking 1,200 electrobuzz, everyone would come rolling. All right, first throw, baby. 
it wasn't even great. My throw's been so off recently. You know how consistent I used to be? One, two, three. No, 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 no. First, first ball, first ball, not even great. I'm done, I'm done. A 1,200 leg pass. Oh my freaking gosh, this guy. And that's put us just over 120,000 stardust as well. Let's take a look at that. That's Pokemon. So happy about that. You know what, guys? Let's actually work on these Eevee evolutions. Explain what I'm going to do because I've been promising it all episode. It's finally time. Guys, I kid you not. I'm literally driving out of the car park. I glanced down at my phone to have left by the side to charge. I was like, wait, there's an Electrobuzz. So I've just pulled in before we leave. This is the 1,154 Electrobuzz. We've got to capture it, man. Come on. Yo, look at that, baby. That is awesome. Some kids outside have just found the Electrobuzz as well. They're freaking out. What another awesome capture now let's compare moves actually this guy is low kick and thunder and this one is electroshock and thunderbolt i'm not sure actually which of those two move sets is stronger but typically pokemon have different move sets that they can get and one is a lot better than the other i think my higher cp is a better move set so that's good news baby yo there it is yo we actually tracked it down baby okay a squirtle a bonus squirtle potentially for you guys four five seven i've had a stronger and i've evolved it when we literally got to the airport for iceland but you can never go wrong with extra squirtle candies one two three then that's it first time oh my gosh what a detour to find ourselves a little squirtle and hatch not amazing but still that is absolutely awesome so at the moment we're down unfortunately to six eggs still not a single 10k egg in sight but you know what you can't complain so i just bumped into these guys literally as i was driving away after catching that squirtle these guys came to catch it as well did all of you guys get it yeah. i got it yeah did you get it though no, no. <laughs> they almost all got it also give a shout out to these guys who are also on the pokemon hunt that's right beautiful it's your time of the video we're gonna be evolving two of you we are you better be nice and strong we need a big cp all right we need a really big cp so guys today turned into a far more epic pokemon hunt than i ever could have expected it was awesome but it is finally time to evolve our two best EVs and use the CP calculator to get an idea as to how good they should turn into. Now, this is an interesting evolution because obviously you've got three options here. You've got Jolteon, Flareon, and of course Vaporeon. So let's take a look at the CP calculator for a second because if we head over to Pokefind, enter EV, and then for example, I'm actually going to do my 610 EV evolution first. If we enter in 610, it's actually going to give us the three estimates for all the different EV evolutions. And notice how Jolteon Jolteon is the worst CP multiplier for evolving EV, Vaporeon is the best, and Flareon is the second best. That's mainly why you'll see a lot of Vaporeons in gyms, or the highest CP evolutions for people are normally Vaporeons, because the multiplier from turning into EV to Vaporeon is the strongest out of all three. So that's something to bear in mind, and it's something to bear in mind for us, because when I go ahead and do this evolution, obviously I want to force it to turn into Vaporeon. So we're aiming for about 1,684. So if we head back to the app, what I'm going to do here is do the old trick that I did in the video um, last week and call it Rainer. So that will guarantee, hopefully, hopefully, the evolution for this EV will be Vaporeon. Now, if you have a look at that Lapras, if we get above that average or close to that average for this EV evolution, it will turn into our strongest Pokemon in the game. So, my friends, let's just do this and evolve it. Fingers crossed this little uh, little glitch or little secret works. Uh, there's rumors that sometimes it doesn't work, but Rainer is a correct way to spell it. So, Eevee, are you going to turn into my strongest ever Eevee evolution? It worked fine, baby. It worked fine. We've got a Vaporeon. <gasps> What's the CP, though? That's the question. What is it going to be? Don't hold me any longer. Oh, 1,626. That puts it as my strongest ever Pokemon. So, if we order it in combat power he has just napped the number one spot and with water gun and water pulse that is the best move set you can get for vaporeon it also has i believe a hydro pump move set but this move set is better so our strongest pokemon in terms of hit cp and an awesome move set but i said i wanted to evolve my other one as well now, this ev is my special ev i've called it the god ev because for a long time it's my strongest cp ev but it has really really strong stats so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be a little bit different with this one i'm actually gonna spend some stardust and actually power this one up so i'm not sure how many times I'm going to do it. We'll see how much it costs. I mean, it is using up a lot of my Stardust, as you can see, 25,000 every single time, but I'm willing to invest in this EV, and what I hope to do is get it, I 
ideally close to sort of 700-ish. Um, now, in terms of questioning whether or not you should do powering up before or after you evolve, it doesn't matter when you do it. The multiplier that's taken into effect when you evolve the Pokemon is also applied to the powering up stats, if that makes sense. So if you power up before, you're going to get the same change at the end of the day, whether or not you do the powering up before or after evolving. Just trust me, it doesn't matter when you do it. But I'm going to do it maybe one, okay, 3,000 now, you're getting expensive. We'll do one more power up. I've used up a lot of Stardust on this guy, but he's now almost 700. This hopefully will be our best ever Pokemon. Let's call it Rainer to make sure it becomes the Vaporeon. And just before we go for the evolution, 695. Ooh, should come out uh, just over. Fingers crossed, 1,900. So, my friends, Rainer is ready. The candies are ready. Stardust has been injected. Let's evolve this crazy, crazy Eevee and see if we can come back, come out with our strongest ever Pokemon. Maybe we'll get close to 2,000 unless we get a really poor evolution multiplier. <gasps> No, no, I don't believe it. It didn't work that time. We have come out with the weakest. <gasps> no, no, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I said to you guys, sometimes it doesn't work. So what should have been our strongest ever, Eevee, we injected it with so much stardust. It comes out as a Jolteon, rather, and it also has the worst moveset, it's a Thunder moveset, rather than a Vaporeon. Well, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna end it there, guys. It's been a really fun day. We failed a little bit at the end. It just shows that, unfortunately, doesn't always guarantee it, but we still have our strongest ever CP evolution there in the form of Vaporeon. If you've enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. Tune in tomorrow, we'll be hunting for more rare Pokemon, and I'll see you guys then.